Hey, what's up everyone? It's fight game. Right here I got Josh Neer. Uh, just wanted to ask him a couple of questions that I think people might like to know. Hey, when you first fought at uh, Toad Holler the first time, Hey, when you first fought at uh, Toad Holler the first time, how did that come about? Like, what made you, like, how did you hear about it? Oh. Did, did you, like, just do it right away, or did you wait a little bit, or what? No, I was, uh, I was out at the fair with one of my, uh, one of my friends, and then I ran into another friend that I knew from school, and he was like, hey, I'm, I'm fighting out at Toad Holler. He said, he, I'm doing a, a jiu-jitsu match out at Toad Holler. I was like, Oh really? That's crazy. And then he was just like, "Yeah, they're uh, they have fights there. You can do kickboxing, MMA, or jujitsu." I was like, "Oh okay." And he told me, and so I was like, "All right, I'll be out there." And then I went out and watched him, and uh, and I was like, "Oh, I'm doing this next week." You know, after his match, because he won his match, and then pumped I was up. like, "Yeah, I was all pumped up." So I'm like, "I'm gonna do it too." And so then the next week we, uh, well, we trained for like one day. Like his dad uh, showed me some, yeah, his dad showed me some stuff and whatever. And then when we got there, I'm like, bro, I'm signing up to fight. They're like, no, just do jujitsu, just do jujitsu. And I was like, bro, I don't, uh, like, I want to do the real thing. I don't want to do a jujitsu match or a boxing match. Like, I want to fight. And so, uh, yeah, so then I signed up to, do my first fight and I fought this guy that like looked like he just got out of prison he had tattoos on his head and was do you remember his name no nah, I don't remember his name oh. but he was already like 5-0 and at the time at Toad Hauler damn you know? and so he like had some fights already and uh and then he was uh so then in our fight you know he was beating me up for the first like for the first round and then uh and then the second round, like I was in high school wrestling, you know, I just got done with wrestling. I was a good wrestler. And then the second round, I guess he was tired of beating me up. And then my conditioning, <laughs> my conditioning took over and uh, I ended up knocking him out. Nice. And, you know, ever since then I was addicted pretty did, much. Did you fight more than once that night? No, I only fought one time that One night. time that night. And then you were like doing it more regularly, like once a week, right? Yeah, and then I just kept coming back and like <laughs> and just fighting, you know, more and more. I'd fight like pretty much every week. Yeah, yeah. You were like a uh, hundred wins and one loss. Eighty nine and 89. one. Yeah, everyone always says a hundred, but yeah, that's why eighty nine and one. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I could have uh, counted my street fights. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, then you were going to Waldorf in Forest City, right? Yeah. And then what did you do there, wrestling? Yeah, I wrestled there for a year, and uh, but I was still like traveling down and fighting and everything, and uh, and then yeah, I just continued to fight, and then after the year was over, I uh, I quit. I I didn't want to go back to school, and then I just like was a full time fighter. Yeah, I, re I remember when I first met you through uh, Nolan Cervantes. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then you guys were, you, you all had roommates, and Oli was his name. Oh, Did yeah. Did he fight Oli. too? Didn't he do uh, one or something? Yeah, he might have fought. I can't remember. Yeah, he's kind of a crazy guy, right? Yeah, yeah. He was just like our friend. We always did pranks and shit. But one time at, uh, one time to go to the fights, we, we actually stole one of our friends. Uh, car and he was like a, a really good kid yeah we stole his car we did we did a gas run <laughs> did a gas run yeah <laughs> then we came back and he didn't even know his car was gone we we're like bro we took your car to the fights but we 
We filled it up with gas. You're good. <laughs> what he say? He was like, "Oh, thanks." And we're like, "Yeah, we did a gas run, dude." That's funny. Yeah. I remember Nolan told me some stories. He got in some fights there, like out in the street too, like in the parking yeah. lot of Hardee's and shit. Yeah, we had and a pull few up fights. and then fights and yeah. then yeah. Then I remember when I first met you, uh, my friend Nolan called me and he's like, "Hey man, what are you doing?" I'm like, "Nothing." He's like, "You want to go see a fight? I know this real tough guy." He'll fight, dude. He's like, he's good. You should come. You should come take us, pick us up in Forest City, and take us to Des Moines. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. And then I walked up to the cafeteria. I don't know if you remember. And then I was like, and no one's like, this is your ride. And you're like, let's go. And you left your fucking tray and everything. <laughs> and then we got in the car. And then you fought three times that night. Oh, and really? then you fought the last guy. And his head, I could see it like split open from a mile away, dude. And you just kept fucking jacking them right in the fucking head. And I don't know how they did not stop the fucking fight. I was yeah. like, oh my God, they should stop the fight. It was like yeah. fucking four minutes ago yeah. or something, you know? Yeah, it was wild back at Todd Haller. We had, it was like pride rules with elbows. So, yeah, oh, Jesus. did it all. There he is. There's Man, Corey. that's my dog. There's Corey. There's Josh Neer's best friend right there. What's up, Corey? What's up, boy? He's Corey star with me at the fights. And, uh, he fought I there too. Baller, yeah. Nice. We how many like times? 16. How many times did you fight there? 26 and 0. Damn. 26 and 0. Good shit. Awesome. Who's the Who's the uh, Who Who have you fought at Tort Holler that's been in the UFC? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, I fought Kevin Burns, and then I fought Houston Alexander, hmm. and. Uh, I think that's it. Just Kevin and uh, Houston Alexander. Kevin was my first, like, my only amateur loss. Oh. And then we rematched, and then I beat him the second time. Yep. Yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Let's go in the sauna. Should we All right, the yeah, sauna let's go inside. Just follow us. There we go. That way we can get an interview with Corey, too. Oh, so when you first started fighting, obviously you're fight, signing up and fighting for free. Did Toad Holler like, ever end up paying you at the end? Because I know when I went, yeah. it was freaking packed. Did it actually start like you know, giving you some money and stuff? Yeah. yeah. After I had like 50 fights on my side, you talked to the promoter. I'm like, I got to get paid. Oh, yeah. And so uh, then they start giving me like $500 a fight. That's cool. That's cool. And the most time you fought in one night was three or four times, or yeah, like three times. All over there. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, I don't really remember it to be honest. That, that sounds like <laughs> it would be like. <laughs> I mean, most of them were pretty quick fights, so it didn't last very long. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you like beat the shit out of people. Fucking, they got their asses well bad, and everybody would just be like, "All oh, in the Josh's fight." It was crazy. I went down there a couple of times to see you fight besides that first time when I met you or whatever. How did you get, how did you get first in the uh, UFC? Like, how, how did that happen? Like, how, how did you get in there? Like, did you know about it? You had to win the fight coming up? Yeah, I was just, I mean, I always like watched UFC and Pride. I always wanted to fight in Pride, to be honest. But, uh, so yeah, I just kept, you know, beating like the best guys around the Midwest. And then eventually, uh, I got uh, managed by Monty Cox, who he had like three of the five champions in UFC at the time. So he was like pretty much the number one manager. And uh, I won one, I, I won a fight, and then he got me in uh, the next fight. That's good. Was that when you were training uh, Bettendorf with Cotton Militage? No, I was still in Des Moines. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was still in Des Moines, and then I moved out to Militage after. Uh, after my first UFC fight. So you lived in Bettendorf then? No, I lived in Des Moines. Oh, okay. Well, I lived uh, south of Des Moines. I'm not from Des Moines, but I grew up like uh, by Indianola. Uh, I went to Southeast Warren, it's a small school. That's cool, that's cool. How'd you get the nickname, The Dentist? Uh, from uh, fighting at Toad Holler, I, I fought and uh, I knocked this guy's teeth out. And then the next week, yeah. uh, I knocked another guy's teeth out, and the announcer just was like, man, you're always knocking people's teeth out, I'm gonna start calling you the dentist. <laughs> and at first I was like, oh man, that's stupid, I don't like that. It's kinda but, cheesy. <laughs> yeah, but then he just kept calling me it, and then I was like, all right, it's kinda cool, you know, it's better than getting your, giving yourself your own nickname, and it's a unique name, so, yeah. 
Yeah, that's kind of stuck. And just to go back on one more thing on the toll highway thing, I forgot to ask you. Uh, what, what's different then between now and the rules? Like, you could, could you get people in the face when they're down? Yeah, it was like pride rules with elbows. Because oh, pride, you couldn't throw elbows, but it was just like a real fight, you know? That's how it should still be. Yeah, I agree. You know, now it's a sport. And, you know, people are like, oh, I'm the best fighter and blah, blah, It's like, well, bro, you ain't, you, this isn't real, a real fight, you know? In a real fight, I'm going to kick you in the face if you're on the ground or yeah. I'm going to knee you in the face or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a more, it was a, it was more of a real fight to me. That's cool. How many fights do you think you had in the UFC or how many do you remember or whatever? I had... 15 fights in the UFC, I think. That's good. And your most memorable fights? I don't know. I would say your the fight that I really liked was the Melvin Gillard fight. That was a pretty badass fight. Yeah, that was that was my first UFC win, so that was a cool fight. And then um, I fought a, a good win was uh, against Mac Danzig as co-main event for that. And uh, I remember came, like it this. was actually Cain Velasquez's first UFC fight. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, and then my, uh, my other fight. Well, uh, like a big fight for me also was like Keith Wisniewski. A lot of people didn't know about him when uh, I, I fought him, but like when I was coming up, like Keith Wisniewski was like the man. Like he's. Tell us his background a little bit. He's good, dude. Like we always fought on the same, you know, the same cards. And Keith was like pretty much the best guy in the Midwest. Like he beat all the best guys in the Midwest. There was a guy named Carlo Prater at the time who was like super good. And Keith beat him like two or three times. Like they they had like two or three fights, and Keith won ever one. And so you know he was like the best guy in the Midwest. He got into the UFC like after his prime, you know, but uh, he was still good. It was a really good fight, you know. So that, that was a big win for me. And then also the um, uh, Dean Thomas was a uh, was a good win, you know. He uh, was he was in UFC at like UFC 30 or something, you know, and uh, been around forever. He's like a, a coach now, you know. So trains like some of the top guys in the sport. Where's he at? Uh, he's in Florida. Oh, nice. He was on American Top Team. So when, uh, when uh, Tyron Woodley was the champ, uh, Dean Thomas was his coach. But Tyron was the man. So. Yeah. He still is. Where's Keith at? <laughs> yeah. Do you know about Keith, like where he's at or anything? He still, I think he still like owns a gym or something. Or he was like an iron worker, I think. And uh, him and his brother owned a gym together. Nice. But if you get if you get beat, then you're out. Then you're out. It's like a tournament. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Oh, I know. I was gonna ask you too. That a lot of people like to know. You fought both Nick and Nate Diaz. Yeah. Who's your fight first, Nick? I fought Nick first, yeah. Yep, and then you fought Nate in a main event that went to a split decision that could have gone probably either way, but everybody says. Uh, and that was in, was that in Stockton? No, that was in oh, Omaha. Oh, no, yeah, that's right. Some people always say, hey, is it, no, was it in Stockton? Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, because they made it look like that, too. I don't know. That would have oh, been really? cool, though, right? Yeah. That would have been well, way not for me. Right? Shoot. They'd be like, boo. You thought maybe they'd probably try to stab you or something. Like, I'm <laughs> 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 But uh, and then how did how did uh, you ended up training with them now? Because you go there, you go there often. You've even taken me there. There's been all kinds of fighters that have trained there. Uh, how did how did that come to play? Yeah, it was just like I've always had like there's always been mutual respect between us. I think uh, they're like real fighters, so they're gonna gravitate towards guys that are real fighters. So uh, you know, just after we fought or whatever. Uh, like we should train together blah, blah blah and then like we waited like a year and then somehow we just got linked up and uh my manager hit up caesar and then we uh and then we start training together and i haven't stopped since then yeah and they they flew josh out there too that they said that's josh nearest their favorite fighter and, uh, <laughs> 
I mean, they do. We read about it too. You know, they said Josh Neer is my favorite fighter. I've heard him announce it, you know, right on TV and stuff like that. And you know, a lot of people respect that and think that's cool. He, Josh Neer, is a Caesar Gracie brown belt. His brown belt so brown that it's turning white. And uh, <laughs> we all look at Josh as he's a black belt. You know, it's, he, and he's not in for that. You know, it's he's not into the political stuff like that. It's just he likes to. This is what he what he likes and likes to do. And you know. It's been good. I've learned a lot. I wish I would have started training with Josh more when I was fighting, but I had a gym there too. But we could have came here and trained like we do every Thursday, and we bring you know a handful of guys and stuff like that. We come mm -hmm. you know every Thursday. Um, sometimes we miss once in a while, but we're here ninety percent of the time. And uh, all my guys have learned a lot and got better. Uh, but uh, the thing is, is a lot of people disappear too. You just gotta stay consistent. Like, what would you say a fighter should do? Like, should they train every every day? Like, uh, not miss. Like, tell us what you think a fighter really should be doing. Yeah, every day. If you're gonna like try to be the best, then you have to train all the time. You know, like I don't really care if you're hurt or whatever. You still need to come in and get better. Yeah, you gotta fight through that. No That's... days off. No excuses. And that's what I learned a lot from uh, Josh Neer's mental toughness. He's helped me with like staying solid, uh, stuff like that. Uh, mental toughness, you know, fighting through it. I even, I even rebroke my rib twice because he is mentally training and they've kept rebreaking. But you can only go far for so much. But you're pretty much, I'm saying, it is mental toughness. People are obsessed with this sport. There's people out there right now working and doing good. You got to be obsessed. With what you're doing and and just keep going otherwise they're gonna shut the door right on you you know what i mean so it ain't and it's not even worth it but you guys have anything else to ask josh you want to ask or i have one question for you josh um when you see other people train do you look at what they could become later is, is that what you base it off of for your training or do you just want them to learn everything at once oh. like do you want it to be where you see something someone's working on and you want everyone to learn it at the same time because then, then you know if someone's struggling with it, someone else could be struggling with it, or is it more like you just teach the basics as you go? Uh, then, I mean, I mainly, everything that I go over is the basics. I don't go over like YouTube moves and, you know, like yeah, people stupid. will come in and be like, oh, I want to go over this. this. I forget his brother's name, but his brother is really good too. Uh, we're Facebook friends, so. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I can check up on him, but he's right. a good dude. He's like, he, uh, you know, he should have got a lot more credit for for uh, his skill level. Another, uh, I mean, he's basically, beat, or he has beat a world champion in Anthony Smith, too. Oh, yeah. yeah he's doing really good right now. Too. The third one and one, but, you know, you, yeah, you beat him the first time, you submitted him, right? Yeah, I submitted him, but I was beating him up the whole fight. I was beating him up on his feet. I forgot about that fight. Yeah, that was kind of like a bitter rivals, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I don't, really, I'm not, I don't really like that guy too much. <laughs> but, <laughs> I just don't. I Everyone just don't has like someone they don't like. Yeah, there's a background. But, yeah, he's just yeah. like a rival. I don't think he works very hard. He's like one of those guys that uh, has a lot of talent, but I don't think he really works hard. I feel you. I feel, I feel you. that for sure. <laughs> then he fought in Bellator, and then he fought in Bare Knuckle. You've had just one Bare Knuckle, right? And you almost had two, but COVID hit. Yo. And then uh, Bare Knuckle, you won by knockout, right? Yo. Yep, that's good. Uh, and you're yeah, still... I fought a boxer in bare knuckle. So a lot of uh, the guys that fight in bare knuckle are like really just MMA guys, you know. And mm -hmm. the, the boxer I fought, he wasn't like super, he didn't have a lot of credentials. He's like a 500 boxer, but he was like 8 and 8. So he had like 16 pro fights. So MMA know. and pro boxing? or No, just pro. He oh, only so he's did, an he only did yeah. pro boxing. Yeah. That's good. That's real good. He had some good, like, he had some good stuff. Uh, boxing stuff, you know, that mo like MMA guys want to do. Yeah. So, I felt like that was a that was a good win. Yeah, that's good. I do good against guys that are like technical and stuff, though. It's yeah. Like, uh, you know, Dean Thomas was the same way. Like, he's a technical like boxer and stuff. Sometimes the guys that are like hard fighter, the guys that like are wrestlers that just like don't really use techniques. So. Uh -huh. Just kind of spaz out and run forward and yeah. throw punches and stuff. 
Like I those are the guys that gives give me trouble, you know. Like yeah. I do better against guys that like use technique. Yeah. <laughs> do you prefer bare knuckle or fighting in the UFC or Bellator? Uh, I, I think they're both good. Like right now, if Bear Knuckle College and gave you a good payday too, you'd go back and fight, right? Yeah, but I would probably rather just fight in the MMA. Yeah. And you might you might fight in North Iowa fights, right? Maybe if we find something cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool, you guys. Yeah. Like it would be good to have Josh Aaron North Iowa fights, Mason City. And stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, you guys run a good show up there. It's uh, getting bigger and bigger every time I go up there. So that'd be cool to get on there. The last yeah. show was really good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Josh Aaron has helped me, you know, through the way too, and he brings his fighters to fight my show and. We respect each other and he trusts me and he knows that I'm gonna do right and have fair matchups and stuff and totally appreciate that and yeah now you're coaching too and uh how long you been coaching for you pretty much were you coaching when you were in the UFC too kind of or yeah sort of I like I've always like coached uh you know even when I started I was coaching so but I've been like full time at Elite Edge for like six years now, so. This is probably your favorite, obviously, huh? Yeah, yeah. We whenever we uh, we've always like kind of like been in gyms, but not really been in gyms. Like, <laughs> we've always been like kind of the outcast, and then uh, we have to go to another gym and another gym, and then, you know, Joe uh, was a good friend of mine though, and he like kind of understands the fight game, so. Um, you know and he's he a ufc a, vet too yeah he's a ufc vet so he kind of like we get each other and it, uh, it works out good here yeah that's good yeah because you still and you still got ufc guys come in and out of here you got johnny case uh you got journey stevens still comes travel here to train. he's from des moines uh and i've heard him say at seminars that like you're his favorite and he's learned a lot from you as well and uh, right now he's in uh, PFL though. He just yeah. went to PFL, yeah, got done with his UFC with contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then do you know if he has a fight coming up? Or? I think he said that he's fighting in the end of April or something. I don't know if that's been announced, but. Uh, what do you think yeah, about that? He's fighting the end of April, but I don't think that he told me his uh, opponent's name, but I think that he has an opponent. That's cool. Yeah, I think he's coming here tomorrow, too. Yeah, he'll be here tomorrow. That's Guys. cool. Are you going to be here, too? Yeah, I'll be here. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, PFL's cool. It's like you get a million dollars to uh, to win the tournament. So. How many times do they fight? Like, what are the brackets like? In you can go ahead. You fight times in one night? No, they have two. It's like a Point. regular, regular season. They mm -hmm. do it... Uh, Two times they have two like regular season fights and right. the playoffs. And oh, I see. I think it's only the top top four now that they take to the playoffs. Oh, so okay. basically, you have one fight and then the finals. Oh, no. oh. So what'd you yeah. say? You should never what? Should never quit. Yeah, say it loud and proud. Should never quit. Right, and here's see. Josh. Near the the camera got too hot in the sauna, so. I appreciate the interview, Josh. All right. And thanks Thank for being you. my best friend and mentor. <laughs> Fight game. All right. Peace. Fight game. <laughs>